Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, today we got a very special range test lined up for you. We're going to be taking the FN PS92, the range, put it through its paces, give you an idea as to what it's like to actually operate and fire one of these things, as well as show you what kind of general accuracy you can expect with one of these out to about 50 yards. Now this firearm is on loan to me from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. This gun is part of his private collection. Uh, Stan does support the channel by loaning us firearms from his collection, and I can bring the, that collection to you. So guys, do give SS Pond a call in Lexington, Nebraska, and they will take care of your firearms needs. Now Stan really came through on this one, like he always does, and he donated the ammunition for this range test. We've got some American an Eagle 40 grain 5.7 by 28 millimeter full metal jacket rifle ammunition as well as uh, the FN branded um, SS197 SR I believe is what it's called it does have a 40 grain uh, Hornady VMAX bullet that's going to be uh, that it is loaded with so we'll see if we notice any kind of a difference in the accuracy or performance of that ammunition versus the American Eagle We've got a few uh, 50 round magazines so we'll get those all loaded up and have a little bit of fun but uh, guys I hope you enjoy this one. Oh yeah and also the uh, red dot we will try to get this zeroed if we can uh, it does sit really high up on the rail Stan was not sure if it would actually zero uh, on top of the rail so we're going to try it if it doesn't work you're just not going to see it in range test there is a backup iron sight almost like a peep sight that's integrated into the picatinny rail that's bolted into the top of the upper receiver and uh, we can rely on that if we need to and uh, we'll see what it can do so let's not waste any time guys let's get to the range and show you what this thing can do all right stay tuned here we go Alright guys, so this is uh, 50 yards benched, awesome accuracy, of course I was, you know, letting the gun rest on the blanket, just using the red dot, over here on the left hand side, sorry about the wind guys, it's crazy windy today, FN ammo on the left hand side, American Eagle on the right hand side, perform basically about the same, right now the gun has had no malfunctions, no issues at all, I'm just going to put a few more rounds through it, and I think we'll go ahead and call it good. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for joining us today from the Rob Jeffrey Firing Range, South of Lexington, Nebraska. We had a great time with the FN PS90. I put about 150 rounds through it. Stan from SS Pond, thank you for loaning me this firearm from your private collection and for paying for the ammo for this test. I had a great time with it. Guys, check out SS Pond, Lexington, Nebraska. They will take care of your firearms needs. Alright, so let's talk about this thing, the experience of shooting it. The recoil, virtually identical to say a 22 semi-automatic, you know, 22 long rifle or 22 mag semi-auto virtually non-existent this thing would make an absolutely fantastic home defense weapon it's compact it's light it's fully ambidextrous the recoil is virtually non-existent it is accurate it is just a fun little gun this thing is very cool i would say out to 50 yards it's going to be fairly devastating uh you know the five seven round the ballistics it, the, the efficiency of it can drop off after 50 to 75 yards but no doubt in my mind that it's going to get the job done if it needs to you definitely need to pick one of these up these things are just awesome so anyway we had a blast today we had a good time just showing you the accuracy testing with the red dot that i was able to get dialed in it took a few rounds to get that dialed in but we finally did um and as for the peep sight the iron sight i didn't show off any accuracy testing with that except I, the silhouettes that i was shooting at the beginning at the beginning of this video i was shooting them with the peep sight with the iron sights on this thing and uh no no trouble connecting with the uh, human size silhouette okay at 50 yards all the way up to 75 yards no problems at all um 
no doubt in my mind up close and personal it's gonna it's gonna work also but I didn't shoot the targets at 50 or 75 yards with the iron sight because I didn't want to shoot the target holder itself I know it sounds kind of crazy but it's just a little bit hard enough to see through this thing out at a distance that I didn't want to risk it and I've, I've damaged those target holders enough I just don't want to take a chance so anyway it's gonna get the job done it's gonna be fine so anyway FN PS 90 guys check me out I'm over on Facebook Twitter Instagram I'm also on gunchannels.com with my Saturday morning podcast called caliber corner uh, what else we got for you? You can find me on GunStreamer and GunTube.org and also YouTube. Uh, those are all Travis P11 are the name of my channels, so they're pretty easy to find. So make sure you check me out, subscribe. All right, guys, I want you all to have fun. I want you to be safe. I'm gonna hate to give this one back, but I gotta go home and clean it up and return it. And we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys. Have a wonderful week. All right, bye bye.